Having attached your MIDI keyboard to your computer, you then have two options as to different methods that you can use to input notes using it. The two options are flexi time input and step time input. Flexi time is, in real terms, playing in real time, what you and I would call recording. But the other option is step time, and that's the one we're going to look at in this video. You've already, hopefully, seen the video about using QWERTY input, where you type the note names using your computer keyboard. Step time is almost exactly the same, only instead of typing the note names, you play the notes using the MIDI keyboard. But you still select your note values from the keypad, either on screen or from the numeric keypad on your computer. It's entirely up to yourself. So let me demonstrate the benefits of it. I'm going to select the first bar here. And I'm going to try and input a line of notes that I would I would not be able to play in real time. So I wouldn't be able to play it using flexi time. I could put the notes in using the note names, but it's quicker very often to put them in if you have a MIDI keyboard attached. So I'm going to select a semiquaver here. I get my semiquaver rests, and then I simply play the notes in one at a time. I can then change it to a demi semiquaver. and I crotch it for the last note and escape to finish, obviously. Now if I was going to try and play that, obviously I would have major problems. But all I need to do now is hit the letter P and Sibelius will play it for me. That's the benefit of step time input.